Good morning, Blue Devil Nation. I'm Robert McDermott, and I'm here with Arbor, and we're going to be talking about the UEFA Champions League, some updates, current standings, um, predictions. So, to start off in Group A, we have Real Madrid leading along with Paris Saint-Germain just below them. Uh, in Group B, we have Wolfsburg and Manchester United. In Group C, we have Benfica and Atletico Madrid. Group D, we have Juventus leading over Man City. Group, uh, group E, we have Barcelona leading over Roma in second place. In Group F, we have Bayern Munich, Olympiacos, and Arsenal sitting in third in that group. In G, we have Porto and Chelsea in second. And in Group H, we have Zenit and Ghent. Now, uh, the next game is on Tuesday, December 8th. It's Man Manchester City versus Borussia Mönchengladbach. Arbert, who do you think is going to win that game? Bye. Yeah, I honestly think that Man City is going to win. They're too much of a powerhouse. They lead the BPL in points. So, I honestly think they're going to win. I have to agree with you on that. They are a powerhouse in the BPL, although they have um, uh, history in the Champions League with underperforming. But that's mostly when they get into the knockout stage. Um, Wolfsburg versus Man U. Uh, well, I personally am Man U just because I am a Manchester United fan. I like Rooney, I like Van Persie, I think they're going to do real well against Wolfsburg. Uh, I'm going to have to agree with you on that one too, um, as well as the youngster Anthony Marshall. Um, um, the whole team is pretty solid this year, Rooney of course. Um, um, that Real Madrid versus Malmo, I think this one is a no-brainer. Yeah. Uh, we could all agree that Madrid will win that game, yeah. they, are in an, they are in amazing form right now, um, coming off of two wins, one in one in the uh, league and then one in the Copa del Rey. Um, and then we have Sevilla versus Juventus. Um, I think it, it's Juventus. Yeah, personally. I think so too with Juventus. Um, as, you know, and they're doing well in the group stage too, leading Group D. They're going to make some crucial signings this January transfer window, and I really think they can make a big impact on this Champions League. Now, Wednesday, Olympiacos versus Arsenal. This is a big game because Arsenal is now sitting in third place in Group F below Bayern and Olympiacos. If they could pull out three points against Olympiacos, they could make it to the knockout stage. Arbert, who do you think is going to win this game? Arsenal, honestly, to be like you know, to be uh, with you on that one. Arsenal again, another great powerhouse in the BPL. Um, just too much. Um, you know, I'm going to have to agree. Arsenal, fourth in the BPL, doing great uh, in that perspective. Also, Champions League, they're coming off of a win against Zagreb. And um, they, they have amazing players. Aaron Ramsey's back. Uh, Santi Grazola. Uh, Callum Chambers. Um, Drood. You know, they have uh, Ozil. The, the list goes on and on. Joel Campbell. Uh, just filled with amazing players with tons of potential and talent. Um, now, Real Madrid, let's talk about them for a second. They are third in La Liga, um, coming, you know, coming off of two amazing wins. Um, do you see them making a big impact on this Champions League? Uh, I honestly think they do. With Ronaldo scoring seven goals in only four games played, I believe, or I think five games played, something like that. Too much to handle, too much of a speedster. Can't really take him out when he's on the when he's on the pitch. So another big game on Wednesday, Barcelona versus Bayer Leverkusen. Mm. Personally, I think uh, it's going to be Barca all the way. Um, they are a powerhouse in La Liga. They are a powerhouse in the Champions League. Powerhouse everywhere in Europe. And um, Bayer Leverkusen. It's a big game for them. They need these three points to advance to the knockout stage. They have lots of young talent. Um, Post Papa Postopoulos, uh, center back. They have they have a great goalkeeper. Um, they have great attack with Kiesling, and they have a lot of great young talent. Arbor, what are your what is your opinion on this game? Um, just like you said, how they have like great amounts of youth, but I honestly think that Barcelona is going to be too much for them to handle. I think they'll win that game probably three to one. I agree. Speaking of Barcelona, 
what are your predictions to win the Champions League? Champions League, I have Barcelona, but don't knock out Zenit just yet. I believe that they're a sleeper. They're really crushing through that group that they're in right now. So it's going to be pretty close between Zenit, Barcelona, Real Madrid, all those top team leagues, but I think that Barcelona will come through. I have to agree. I have Barcelona to win it all with the likes of Suarez, Neymar, and of course, the best player in the world, <laughs> Lionel Messi. So thank you and tune in next time.